Hi everybody, this will be part 15 of the character rigging tutorial series. Last video we discussed how to set up the skin weights for the arm. So here's the skin weights for my wrist. In this video we're going to discuss how to set up the skin weights for the fingers. Um, so I have carpal bones, these four right there, and then I have the four finger uh, bones or joints, and then I have my thumb. So I'm going to skip over my carpals for a minute and we'll move to the base of each finger. So we have three joints that we actually are going to have skin weights on. The fourth one, we're not going to have any skin weight on that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start with my pointer then work my way to the other ones. Uh, with my pointer joint selected, that's this one right here, I'm going to have a value of 1 and then we're going to flood that entire end of the finger uh, with white value so that the entire finger has um, a value of 1. So this pointer finger will remove the weight from the wrist keep it solely on the finger here. Make sure we get all of the end there. All right, there you go. Pull that one in there as well. Look up a little bit. We definitely want 100% there. Uh, you can create keyframes to test this out, but uh, with all these joints in here, I'm just going to uh, slowly blend this. So we'll do a value of 0.05 so that way it will blend the areas around it some. We definitely want some motion here. There you go. Alright, so now let's go to that joint and rotate that. There you go. That looks pretty good. Alright. Undo back to default. Make sure it's not pinching too much in that middle area, which that's alright there. Okay. All right, so now back with the skin weights, we're gonna to move to the next finger joint down. So we'll find that in the hierarchy here. Pointer two, we're gonna put a value of one and repeat the process. So all of these joints, that's this joint right here. All of these vertices, we have a value of one. Make sure we get all of those there to the end of the finger. Yeah, pretty good. And then from a top view, we definitely want this to be one. Bottom view, we definitely want those to be one. There you go. And then we're once again gonna do a value point of five. Blend this back here. And probably a smaller brush size would be nice to have here. There you go. A little bit of weight there on the sides. Uh, let's go test it out. So with that second finger joint selected, looks pretty good. It's pinching a little bit, so we might need to add a little bit more weight um, as blending. So we'll blend that a little more on the top. Blend it a little more down here. Sides aren't going to be too bad there. There you go. Pretty good blending right there. All right. Uh, so last one for the finger. Uh, we need to go down to the last joint. Um, I actually have another joint at the end, but I'm not going to skin weight that one. Uh, it's not added to my skin weights here. Make sure we're on the right joint. Yeah, third pointer finger, value of one. We're going to flood all the way to the end. Okay, so all of this gets value of one there. And that one. There you go. All right, then we're going to go back to a value of 0.05, blend upwards to the next finger here, or next loop, rather. There you go. All right, now let's go test that out. So we'll take that joint, rotate that. It's pinching a little bit, so we're going to come back and kind of refine that some. You know, probably some more, more loops in the geometry will help this out as well. But we do need to kind of blend it a little more so that when that joint rotates, it doesn't pinch too much. There you go. All right. So that's a good basis for that. And then after my individual finger joints are skinned, uh, I'm going to go to that carpal. So then I go back up to the carpal and blend some of this back into it as well because we definitely want some weight to happen when the carpal bone animates. Uh, so we can start back here 
Uh, I know I want that one to move some and this one. Try and blend that off of the wrist and the finger. I know I want some of this to move a little bit. Move that as well. I'm at a 0.05 value. And we'll do even a little bit of this as well. That one should move a little bit. That one. Maybe these. All right, so there we go. So with this carpal, I want a little bit of motion. I'll need more motion here as it goes to the finger. But that's what we're looking for is to make sure we blend back to um, these other joints as well. So go keep adding more around here. Okay, then go test it out. So that was this joint. There you go. We just need more uh, to blend it back. And then we might need to go back and continue to add more weight back to um, the finger joints as well. There you go, let's try again. There you go. So we just we just need to this might be a joint we do need to create some test motion with as we're creating keyframes. Carbon bones don't really bend the fingers, you know, drastically, but we do need to make sure that uh, we do have some some good blending here. As that carpal bone uh, bends, so with a value of 0.05, it's just going to take a while to blend this back up a little more. Take that up a little more here. There you go. All right, we'll add some more back this way so that's not so harsh. There you go, that'll correct all that issue there going on. Smaller brush, blend that back up. Pull that back some more. There we go. Kind of correct some of those weird pinches. We might need to go back to our finger pointer joint here. Blend those back a little more. Okay, that's correcting that there. A little more there. All right, so that way we got some motion of the carpal bone as well. All right. All right. So that's a pretty good start. So there's our carpal, uh, pointer one, pointer two, and pointer three. Um, I'll pause the video and go do the other three fingers and I'll come back and show you the skin weights for those. And then we'll finalize the video by doing the thumb. All right. We're back here. So I've went ahead and set up the skin weights for the carpals and the finger joints for my middle, uh, my ring finger, and my pinky finger. So this is the uh, skin weights for the middle carpal. That's this joint right here. Uh, then I move to the uh, middle finger. Okay, we might need to blend a little more um, as we get back. When you paint the carpals, it might remove too much of the middle finger base. Uh, but I'm blending to the next joint down. There's my middle joint two, this one right here, and middle joint three, this one right here. Okay. Uh, let's go to our ring finger. So there's our ring finger. Uh, and then there's the base ring. So I need to come back and kind of blend some of this back here. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little more there. Uh, there's ring two and ring three. So 100% towards the end of the finger and then we're blending 0.1 to 0.05 as we get closer to the, the next joint. Uh, then we have our pinky, so pinky carpal. The only difference with the pinky carpal is that it moves this entire kind of meaty area of the back of the hand. Um, so we need a larger area compared to the uh, ring carpal, which is a pretty wide area as well. But the pinky carpal is also gonna encompass this entire area of the hand here. Uh, so we go back to pinky one, maybe do a little bit more blending here. Correct some of that back again. There we go. 
Um, so let's go back and look at pinky one. Pinky one's right there. Pinky two, that's this joint. And then pinky three. I did some test animations with uh, the three carpal bones I made refinements to. It's not the, These fingers aren't going to ever push it this much, but it's good to kind of see what the body will do during these different areas. I'll look at it from the underside here. There you go. We do want a smooth blend in those areas. All right, the last thing we want to do is a thumb. So we'll go down to our thumb one joint. Uh, actually, let's go to thumb, thumb two and make sure we paint all this and we'll blend back with thumb one, just like we did with the carpals. So thumb uh, two joint, that's going to be uh, all of these going down. That's this joint right here. So we want to make sure all this is white around the thumb. Go do all of that back there. Make sure we get the end of the thumb. Uh, we can always go back to the wrist and see if we left any. So there's still some motion on the wrist of the thumb um, there. So we'll go back and make sure we kind of correct that. Maybe a larger brush will help as well. Make sure we get all the areas of the thumb. So that's 100% white there. Might look 100% white, but go back to your previous joints to see. Okay, we've got the ends of it. We just need to go back and get the middle area. Thumb two. Make sure we got quite all of that is white. My brush is a little big. But all of this inside needs to be completely white. There we go. Uh, and then now with a value of like 0.1, we're going to build up. So it blends a little better here. So 0.1 is a good, or 0.05 is a good, good starting point to blend that. We do want to move this area around here. Once again, we can do some test animations to see how that will run as well. But we're taking weight away from the wrist and adding it back to the thumb here. Go a little bit blending outward there. Try that. All right, let's go look at it so we can test. Pretty good starting point there. All right, let's go back and do the end of the thumb. And we'll come back and blend the base thumb joint. So we're going to want all this to be white. All that to be white. Oh, not too much there. This loop right there. All that to be completely white. And just a little bit right there. And then a value of, let's do 0.05 since this is a pretty small of an area. A little brush size, we'll zoom in. Add the weight back to this. This will be a 0.05 or 1 up there, but this one's going to be, we're going to drag over it a couple times. And this will be a 0.05 there. There we go. That should be pretty good. I'll just go do some testing. This will be a rotate this way. Looks pretty good. All right. And let's go back to our base thumb joint. Correct that and I'll end up with a pretty good base for the hand here. I'll do a value of 0.1 here. A little bit larger of a brush size. So all of this around here is going to be 0.1 uh, we want that meaty thumb area so all of this needs to have some weight to that all that this area kind of blending upward here there we go let's go try that pretty good start here so get from the bottom there you go so that's a good starting point all right, so let's go back and review. So we got, um, let's see, thumb one, thumb one, thumb one, okay. thumb two, thumb three, and then there's our carpal pointer, uh, pointer one. Might need to blend back with pointer two here a little bit. You can see it's on the side a little much. I think it'll be all right. Uh, pointer two, pointer three. On our middle, middle carpal, it's pretty good. Middle one, middle two, and middle three. We have a ring finger carpal ring. 
ring one, ring two, and ring three. Uh, we have a pinky, pinky carbon, okay, which is a little wider on the outside of the hand. Pinky one, pinky two, and pinky three. So that'll wrap up the fingers and skin weight in the fingers as well.